Hey, welcome to the show. Hey, do you know where uh, cows go on Friday night? They go to the movies. <laughs> all right, all right, cows. That was my only cow joke I had. I'll stick to the mathematics. Hey, welcome back to the show here. Okay, we are going to be working with multiplication and decimals. So don't worry about it. We're going to take it step by step. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. All right, first of all, we have the number 3.3. 1, 3, or 3.13 times 1.2. Now you're probably wondering, where am I gonna put the decimal? Don't worry, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. First of all, we just wanna go ahead and multiply. When you're multiplying, just kind of ignore the decimal point for right now. So what I like to do is I use a little card to cover up this number and it makes it less scary, all right? So look at that. That number would be easy to multiply. So let's go ahead and start. Three times two, six. Pick up sticks, all right. Move on to the next number. Two times one, two. Uno dos. I'm gonna move this over here. And then we have two times three, six again. All right, let's take a look here. If you want to, you can take this piece of paper, cover this number up, that's all right. And now we're gonna go on to the next number here. One times three is three. Now, do I put the three here? No, move it over a little bit here. Put it right here, all right. One times one, uno. And one times three again, three. Pretty easy. I wanted to make this easy for you and concentrate on the placement of the decimal. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add. I'm gonna move this number out here. Well, let's go ahead and add. I'm gonna bring down the six. Two plus three would be five. Six plus one is seven sent from heaven, and three comes right down here. How are you all doing so far? All right. Yeah, I know we're gonna have soccer game after this, so take it easy. All right, the cows are so excited that they could be playing the monkeys in a soccer match. All right, I know you forgot your gym shoes, your sister is wearing them. Don't worry, I got a pair of shoes for you there. Okay, so now we gotta figure out where do we put this decimal point? Now, when we look at a number right here, there is an in invisible decimal point right here. Okay, the same value, 3,756. Doesn't change the value, it's invisible. We just don't put that there, you know, when we're writing out a number. So we wouldn't say we went 3,756 point cookies. No, we just went 3,756 cookies. It's like, no, I was using this as an example there, cows. I, all right, I'll get some cookies, okay. And chocolate milk, all right. Oh my goodness, the monkeys want lemonade. Come on, I got a lesson I gotta get to. So let's go ahead and figure out where we need to put this decimal point. We need to count the numbers behind the decimal points in both of these columns, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. We have one, two numbers over here and one right here. So we have one, two, and three numbers. So we need to move the decimal point going this way, how many times? Three times, it's because we have one, two, three numbers on that side of the decimal point. So we get to move it over three times, one, two, Three, we're gonna put it right there and you can go ahead and move, erase this line right here. And there's our answer, 3.756, all right? Ready to do another one? The more practice, the better you're gonna get. So let's go ahead and begin another one. All right, welcome back. All right, we have the number 9.8 times 0.6. All right, let's begin. Eight times six, what is it? 48. See how important it is to memorize your multiplication facts? All right, six times nine, 54, plus the four, 58. Put the eight right here, okay. All right, now we need to put it in the decimal point. So let's count the numbers behind the decimal point. So we have one here, and then one here. Remember that invisible de decimal point I was talking about? It's right here. We're gonna move it over two times. So we're gonna one, two. We're gonna put the decimal point right there. So our answer is 5.88. Let's do another one, yeah. All right, welcome back. All right, we have 2.24 times 1.3. All right, let's begin. Remember, if it gets a little kind of scary, you just cover up a number, but I think we can handle this one. Four times three, 12. Carry the one. Three times two, six, plus the one, seven. Send from heaven. Three times two, what is it? Six. Pick up sticks. 
All right, let's go to the next one. You ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. I know monkeys, you're getting excited about that soccer match. Hold on, hold on here. All right, one times four, four. Open the door. One times two, two. One times two, two. Go ahead and add these numbers up. Bring that two right down here. Seven plus four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Put the one here, carry the one. Six, seven, eight, nine. And just drop that two down there. Just drop it down right here. All right, now we just need to figure out where we're gonna put the decimal point in this number. So let's take a look here in our problem. How many numbers are behind this decimal point? Two. How many numbers are behind here? One. Two plus one equals three. You guys are awesome. So we have our invisible decimal point here, so we're gonna move it over three times. One, two, three. We put the decimal point right there. So our answer is 2.912. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I gotta get going because we got a soccer match between the cows and the monkeys. It should be interesting. Hey, thanks a lot. Make sure you check out our other videos on here. I would love it if you'd hit subscribe. Have a great day. Adios.